Welcome to St. Clair Golf Club, nestled on the cliffs above the beautiful St. Clair Beach, offering world-class views and a golf experience like no other. The two starting tees on the first and tenth holes are both conveniently close to the clubhouse and the pro shop. With five sets of tees on each hole and constantly changing pin positions, the St. Clair Golf Course offers a challenge for all skill levels. The first hole, Mackesys, is a 346 metre par four. A well hit drive makes this hole a real birdie opportunity. That's if you can avoid the large bunker at the front of the green. Green is mainly flat with a slight slope towards the bunker. It's also one of the course's quickest. The second hole, McGregor's, is a 329 metre par four. Another straight drive is required here to avoid trees left and right just past the tee. The second green features bunkers left and right and slopes from back to front. Taking into account the flag position here is crucial to avoiding a difficult downhill putt. The third hole, the dip, is a long 423 metre par four. A good drive down the right side of the fairway is needed here for the ball to filter down into the middle of the dip, providing a much shorter second shot to the green. The large third green slopes to the front and is guarded by a bunker at the front left. The fourth hole, Spion Cop, is the first par three at 165 metres. This tricky hole can require anything from a nine iron to a three iron off the tee, depending on the wind. Landing on the right side of the green is largely the preferable option to avoid a tough two putt for par. The difficult green slopes steeply to the front with two pot bunkers front right. The fifth hole, Cliffs, is a 314 metre par four. This tee features stunning.
second shot to the green. Sixth green is another large one and can be very fast, requiring expert judgment. The seventh hole, Porridge Pot, is a 150 metre par three. The length of this hole can be deceptive. The green's steep uphill location means the hole shouldn't be taken lightly. Tee shots must clear 130 metres of valley to a raised green. Anything short will roll back down the hill. The green has considerable break in some areas and features a large bunker down to the right. The eighth hole, Sea View, is a 312 metre par four. Five fairway bunkers, four of them on the right, requires an accurate uphill tee shot. Care is also needed with approach shots, with the green guarded by a bunker front left and a steep drop off at the back. is two-tiered with some tricky breaks demanding an expert read. The ninth hole, centre, is the first par five at 463 metres long. With giant pines both left and right, tee shots here need to be directed to the left side of the fairway to get the best position. Long hitters may reach the green in two, or choose to lay up into the valley below the green. The ninth green has a bunker left and right and slopes to the front, providing challenging downhill putts. The tenth hole, Castles, is a 467 metre par five, rated as the number one stroke hole on the ladies card. This provides a tough start to the back nine. Wayward shots off the tee will be punished on both sides of the fairway. Big hitters may reach the green in two, but most will lay up to the top of the hill to take their third shot with a wedge. The tenth green is long but narrow and perched above two deep bunkers at the middle and front left. The eleventh hole, White's is a 419 metre par four and the number one stroke hole for men. Tee shots should be aimed to the right side of the downward sloping fairway to benefit from the kick left. 
The length of approach shots can vary greatly depending on the strength of the wind, making it a tough green to hit. The 11th green has bunkers left and right with many difficult breaks and slopes and is a major reason why this hole is rated the hardest. The 12th hole, Trigg, is a 392 metre par 4. This is a testing right hand dog leg uphill. The smart play is to aim up the left hand side of the fairway for the easier approach. The 12th green is flanked by two bunkers and is very large so it can be attacked strongly when putting. The 13th hole, Corstaphine, is a 160 metre par 3. The short par 3 is fraught with danger. Club choice is crucial depending on the strength of the wind, with a steep bank to the right of the green and a large bunker to the left. The 13th green is multi-tiered with many different breaks, making it very hard to read. The 14th hole is Kenmore, a 461 metre par 5. This left hand dog leg requires a tee shot right of centre to open up the green but not too far right so as to avoid the fairway bunker. The green can be reached in two, but any misdirected approach will result in a chip shot out of long grass. The 14th green is large with three tiers and guarded by bunkers at the front left and front right. While on the green, enjoy the spectacular view of the South Otago coastline. The 15th hole, Rosses, is a 362 metre par 4 and St Clair Golf Club's signature hole, constantly rated one of the most beautiful in New Zealand. Two fairway bunkers make this a challenging tee shot, while approach shots need to be accurate to avoid two pot bunkers and thick rough left and right. The 15th green is large and sloping, and aiming below the flag here is the key. The 16th hole, Stocks, is a 177 metre par 3. This challenging hole requires you to fly the ball 150 metres over a large gully to the green. It's longer than it appears from the tee. The 16th green can be very fast and has a large deep bunker to the left which should be avoided at all costs.
The 17th hole, Boundary, is a 331 metre par 4. The fairway on this hole slopes from left to right, so drives need to be kept left where the ground is flatter and provides better run. A good tee shot will result in an easy approach to the 17th green, but beware the two greenside bunkers and the multi-tiered green, which features many variations. The 18th and final hole, home, is a 356 metre par four. This uphill hole provides a memorable ending to the round. The fairway slopes to the left and tee shots should be aimed right to avoid the long left dip and two fairway bunkers also on the left. The final green is long and bends around a large left side bunker. An attacking uphill putt is sometimes required here. Thanks for watching this tour of the St Clair Golf Club, still on its original site from when it was established in 1905.